All right, we're gonna pour a little bit. I see, see? Okay, let's just pour right through, why not? Okay, so these are kind of stiffening up. I've gone ahead and picked a sponge that looks kind of open and porous, sliced it up, and I've cut myself three little pieces. I have some slip that I want to just saturate them in and then just stick them in. And I thought about slipping and scoring. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, we'll call that good. And I do want to sink it down a little bit because I want a little room for at least a little bit of metal to pool as it, you know, theoretically goes through. There it is, I'll let these dry up and we'll get them in the kiln. Okay, so I want to get some aluminum melting and I don't think you've seen this in any previous video. This is an eBay 110 plug-in electric furnace and it has these lift out crucibles and we're going to lift fill with molten metal and lift out today i don't want to put in brass today i'm going to just put in aluminum and i have this dirty angle iron i mean really dirty which is going to be good because it's going to make all sorts of crud and slag on the top of the puddle and when we pour it through the filter if it does go through Hopefully we can skim out some of this junk in the molten metal. Okay, so these are out of the kiln. And I gotta tell you, just looking at them, I wonder, are they really gonna let metal flow through them? So I'm very interested to know when this gets, I'm not gonna preheat it, at least not the first one. I could put a torch to it and try to warm them up, but um, will it break? Uh, most likely it's either going to crack or the metal is just going to puddle and not go through or worse the metal will start to go through and then it'll freeze inside the sponge in which case I'll, I'll break it with a hammer and we'll take a look at what's happening but let's take these over to the furnace on the back porch and try pouring metal through one of them and let's just see what happens all right so we're up to temperature can you see it's all melted down? We have a nice puddle. So I'm just gonna start dropping these in a couple at a time. Yes, I should be wearing gloves, but I promise I'm being safe. I don't anticipate splashing. All right, got a couple more to melt down here and then we're gonna be ready to pour. And I'll tell you what, aluminum is a lot less scary than brass or bronze. The heat that comes off of brass, bronze, copper, uh, it's tremendous. But aluminum is not quite as scary, so still have to be careful. We'll let this cook down, and then we'll pour. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm really excited to see this junky metal. It'll have like a film on the top. You can see it moving. All right, we're gonna pour a little bit. I see, see? Okay, let's just pour right through, why not? 
Yeah, see, no way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and the cameraman is hit. Well, come on, you. All right, we'll pour that off. Hmm. I wonder if any even got in. I'm going to pour some in this side. Oh, it's going to crack for sure. I can feel it in the handle. You put this away. Well, let's get rid of this. Come on, you. All right. Nothing, huh? <laughs> well, that was a fail. I'm going to let this cool, and then we'll break it open, and we'll see, did we get any penetration? I need to maybe pick a new sponge, or we clearly need bigger holes. That did not work. All right, I want to break this open. We're going to see if the aluminum, did the aluminum get into the ceramic sponge? Oh. Not at all. That is interesting. So, I mean, obviously, just visually, I kind of thought that perhaps it was too dense. I am kind of curious to know what a ceramic sponge that's fully infused with a molten metal, uh, just what's it look like? What's it act like? Can I cut it? But, yeah, that was a fail.